The Metal Glen by William Murdoch. My mother told me once of when a young hare ventured from her den, and as she danced in fields of glen, the world sang joy about her. But wicked, hateful things abound, and that young hare these evils found, then whisked her up from off the ground, and glen was left without her. The wicked power tore asunder, and with this cruel and fateful blunder, cast her to a world of wonder, would she e'er see home again? And so hair flew that mournful day, over the sky and far away, and down and down beneath the sea, to a place unlike the glen. A world of men and man's design, a place where God's light would not shine, a hell of steel beneath the brine, where misery's echoes boomed, and all around her there were others, beasts like her, all sisters, brothers, locked up all with one another, in deep sea dark entombment. And in this crypt far from the shore, the hare lay down upon the floor, imprisoned there forevermore, and left to all her sorrow. Her tender world was lost and gone, so joy and happiness forgone, she slept and cried and prayed for dawn, to wait the coming morn. The hound was still, the bird said not, the fox denied he had been caught, the bear cried, this is just our lot, and surrendered to his pain. But the cat stood up and shook his head, and rising from his metal bed, he said, for now I am not dead, and I will not die in vain. He cried aloud with much disdain, and tore about his stark domain, and said, These walls cannot contain a force as strong as I. And the fox just laughed, and the birds all cried, and the bear nodded up himself and died. But the hare looked on as the poor cat tried to break him free and fly. He shook his chain with all his rage, and flew in anger round his cage, decrying this dark, mournful stage, and the hare stood up as well. With passion did she then respond, she chewed her ropes and broke her bonds, and freed the cat they ran beyond, they ran to flee that hell. out uncontrollably. But don't worry, he's not around right now. Do you know who I am? I can't seem to remember. Oh, what's the matter? Can you not even remember who you are? Or do you just not want to? Could you at least tell me why I'm here? I'll tell you this much. If you're here, then there's a reason for it. You deserve to be here. Is there at least a way out? A way out? <laughs> uh, you can't leave, even if you wanted to. Only I can leave. Well, why can't you just take me with you? Because you don't deserve to! You know, uh, there is another way out, if you're interested. What is it?
Do you know what's going on here? Uh, I don't know. I just woke up. Yeah, me too. Can you get me out of here? Uh... The door's locked. Yeah, well, I figured that one out. Well, what should I do? There has to be a key around here somewhere. Alright, I guess I'll start looking. Thanks. Yeah, I found this key. Huzzah! Hmm. Thanks. Do you have any idea how to get out of here? No, but we need to keep moving. There's, there's somebody in the halls. What? Yeah, there's this guy. He had like a bear mask. Yeah, he had this metal pipe. He was hitting someone with it. I think he's dead. Where the hell is he now? I don't know, he was chasing me earlier, but I managed to lose him. Well, should be on the way then. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh. Looks like 
some sort of ID card. What do you think it does? What do you think it does? Well, it opens the doors around here. Can I see it? free to pure air? To guess their fate we shouldn't dare. Perhaps their tail closed well. But for all the beasts trapped in the nether, all life from out the lock and heather, the flock that could not work together, are sure still trapped in hell.